There is a debate about where the first department store Santa Claus came from as well as who it was. With names such as J.W. Parkinson, John Edgar, and Macy's, there is no definite answer but only speculation. It seems most people claim that James Edgar was the first true department store Santa. The tradition with James Edgar began in 1890 in the town of Brockton, Massachusetts. Edgar, born in Scotland in 1843, opened a dry goods department store in 1878. Edgar loved to bring happiness to children throughout and would rent trolley cars to take them on picnics on July 4th for food and entertainment. Dressing in numerous outfits throughout the year, he loved to bring joy to those around him. After wearing a clown costume into his store and the nearby children enjoying his act, the following year Edgar had a Santa suit tailored for him that was inspired from the cover of an 1862 Harper's Weekly that featured a Santa Claus drawing by Thomas Nast. Edgar portrayed Santa one hour each weekday, and on Saturday, at least three hours where he would wander the store and interact with children. As popularity rose and business increased, he had to hire someone else to play the part in order to have someone as Santa for more hours throughout the day since he did have a business to run. After the popularity of Edgar Department Store Santa, word spread throughout the nation and many other stores followed suit the following year. Sadly, Edgar died in 1909 after suffering a stroke five years earlier that partially paralyzed him. A second mention to begin the department store Santa is J.W. James Wood Parkinson, a merchant of Philadelphia who was born in 1818 and died 1895. Parkinson had a restaurant that featured imported foods, mainly from Europe, and featured French confectionery. Also, within his restaurant was a general store where he sold imported toys. When Christmas came, the famous chef brought Santa Claus into his business to attract children to his foods, candy, as well as toys. He supposedly hired someone to portray Santa Claus during Christmas in 1841 and had the man act as if he were climbing up or down the store's chimney. The third and final mention of the beginning of the department store is Macy's. The department store Santa is often thought of as it was shown on the original Miracle on 34th Street, filmed in 1947, that took place at Macy's. Macy's claims to be the first store to have a Santa Claus, and they say it happened back in 1862. There isn't much detail or facts to back up this claim, but regardless, there isn't an actual date of when Macy's had its first Santa except for their claim. Macy's, regardless of date, is likely to be the department store with the longest tenure of having a Santa Claus, which would sadly end in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Santa Claus has been a popular icon for numerous years, especially since the late 19th century. Even since the 1920s, Santa has been included in many advertisings. There were toys, stories, drawings, and many types of items with Santa Claus on it. Using the idea of Santa Claus to appear in department stores helped bring people into stores as well as increased sales. By the 1920s, department store Santas were a fixture in numerous stores to help drive sales and bring customers into their locations. As department stores left downtowns and main streets and began spreading throughout shopping malls, the Santas followed and nearly every mall in the United States and many throughout the world have a Santa each Christmas season. Today, children, and even adults, pose with the mall Santa in order to get a photograph of them with the Jolly Man. Art Happy French, a photographer for the Seattle Post Intelligencer, was said to have taken the first photograph of Santa Claus with a shopper. In 1943, as he sat in his office downtown Seattle, across from the Frederick and Nelson apartment store, he saw that the store Santa had moved to their display window. Watching children sit on Santa's lap, he figured he could make some extra money if he offered to take photographs of the children with Santa. The following year, with permission from his newspaper as well as Frederick and Nelson's, he set up a stand next to Santa's booth. Taking candid photographs of the children on Santa's lap, he offered to sell the photos to their parents. During three weeks of photographing during the holidays in 1945 alone, he made $10,000 during the three weeks. While he may not have been the first to ever take a photograph of Santa, he was very successful and one of the most successful Santa photographers. Uh -huh.